Cause they won't go when I go And I'll go When I go No one Can keep Me from my destiny, oh yeah. Hey y'all, good morning, good afternoon, good evening family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your illustrious host, Khadija. Oh my goodness, you know, for those of y'all who say that it can't, that they don't believe in global warming, again, those that have a problem with even the inference of global warming, and, um, <laughs> I don't know how you explain, ever since I've been a kid, um, I've never seen snow in California, Nevada, and snowstorms, and, and snowstorms in Hawaii with snow uh, up to a foot. <laughs> and here I am in the Midwest, the mighty Midwest, where we have a frozen vortex on record with the coldest and the snowiest winters. And um, it is past mid-December. We had the end of December, and we haven't had any snow at all. Now, if that doesn't wreak something crazy to you, I don't know what will. I think Minnesota had a uh, had their big snowstorm because they're right up the road west. Um, I think they had their... But I think it all melted. I'm not particularly sure. I think my cousin told me, and they're in Minneapolis. So, uh, you know, you guys, something is going on. I'm looking at California weather. Um, I'm looking at snow. I'm looking at Nevada with crashes and vehicles not being able to maintain uh, their traction at all because, first of all, people are not used to driving and anything like that. So, what do you call it? I don't just call it Mother Nature doing her thing. I consider it a man destroying the elements in the universe with all the rocket ships that's going up there, with all the damn changing of the environments, with all the pollution that we're putting in there. How can we not say? I mean, in my opinion... How can we not say that global warming is real? How can we not say that? Of all the pollution that we do to her, Mother Earth, <laughs> you don't think that changed the complexity of things? Right nicely, I think it does. <laughs> well, you know, I wanted to make sure I made that comment because I think it's really important that, um, you know, we talk about that. Look at Look at the difference of the weather. Um, this is scary. Lake Tahoe, drowned out, dried out. Um, these are the things that are not just normal uh, occurrences. You know, just like uh, some of the things I want to discuss with the family. Um, and one thing I'm going to tell y'all, those of y'all who are uh, aspiring to be content creators and, um, you know, uh, have started your own YouTube channels. I want to encourage you to continue to do it. Continue to um, uh, uh, use this for whatever you use it for. Okay? But however, I want you to know that there's a downside to this too. You know? And I want to say this to my family and to my friends, uh, so-called um, enemies, whoever. Sometimes... <laughs> You know, you don't you, you don't know who's who. But what what 
you have to understand when you do this, make sure you committed to what you're doing. Because there are people that are going to be angry with you. There are going to be people that you love that are going to um, feel that, um, you know, you hurting their feelings or you exposing a family business or even if you don't mention names, even if you, because um, if you want to be raw, you would do that. But if your intention is just to teach, not to hurt, then you would probably, like I do, um, talk about it, the uh, overall situation, and I don't talk about specifics. I know some people, matter of fact, some people that go through this tell y'all in a heartbeat, I don't give a F what you think. This is my life. This is my uh, impression on my channel. Um, and if I choose to think to talk about the things that affect my life, I need to be able to do that uninhibited and without you being taking it personal. Unless I'm sitting up here mentioning your name or saying And I agree with that sentiment. I think Tasha K just had this same uh, conversation uh, uh, a few weeks ago. And, and I'm with that. Because a lot of y'all got a lot of damn nerve. You know, I mean, you become offended by things. Or if you don't. And then you'll send me an email, or you won't send me an email, or you won't, um, uh, 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 you know, uh, engage in a conversation about something that I may have said about a family member, never mentioning their names. But there are times when it does pay off, like um, being able to tell my baby brother that I love him again. And I never thought that that would happen, given a lot of, of the circumstances, you know. And some people feed off of, you know, seeing people mis misguided and misrepresented, and they love chaos. So, in in, and I may have unknowingly or knowingly, uh, you know, been a party to that, been attributing to some of that. And I don't, I don't want that. So, in my opinion, there's going to be some situations that you come across that you're not going to understand why people are treating you the way they are. are saying, and it could be family members. And like I said, there could be people that you love very much. But you know what? Keep your eye on the prize. Keep moving. Don't let them distract you because they got their truths. Okay? And some of the things that you probably have um, overlooked or, or bent backwards because you love them, that you haven't taken um, whatever um, to heart that they've done because of, you know, whatever, keep it all in stride. When you got family members that want to trip on you about, um, I think you shouldn't be talking about someone, as long as you ain't mentioned nobody's name and you're talking about a certain situation, you know, don't do it. Don't don't trip on them. I've, I've mentioned too many um, family situations where I've had family members now come back at me and just be pissed off like I've done something to them personally. Now, and I still say, until I mention your damn name, you really don't got no reason to be upset. Because anybody that has played a part in my life, on my journey, I have a right to speak about. Okay? And I think that that is what all of y'all out there should be encouraged to do. And you better realize, you know, who is the enemy here? And sometimes, as damaged individuals, we have uh, a problem understanding who the enemy really is. And I think anybody that's kind of trying to quilt and kill your um your 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 um, um expression. You may have to reevaluate that. You know, don't let family members um, stop you. Don't let friends. Um, <coughs> there's a certain amount of uh, 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 things that you do once you open up yourself to this. Okay, and I have over two thousand subscribers. And if I wanted to unleash them, that's not a lot, given the time. 
<coughs> but I'm expecting to grow this channel more and more and more because I'm getting more and more focused on it. Okay, and the per and the and the uh, benefits of having a platform not only that I can expose and I can only heal. I'm doing it from my uh, from a perspective that I'm also gonna make it lucrative. Okay, so with that being said, I want all of y'all to reevaluate the importance of staying true to what you have to do. Stay true to it. And you know how you feel. You know how you are. Um, sometimes you have to, um, you know, look at your family and friends for who they are. And either they're going to try to support you or they're going to try to stand in your way. Because they're going to take everything personal. As if you don't, as if you're not sitting up in front of a camera <laughs> being personable. <laughs> You know, and y'all know I got over a thousand videos where I've talked about all my, I've talked about my frailties, I've talked about my insecurities, I've talked about my problems, and you mean tell me, you, these family members are, are, are confronting me because I mentioned a situation that happened in my family that may have um, directly impacted my um, thinking. Positive or negative. Okay. So I just want to remind y'all content creators. real. Um, if y'all are going to get off into this arena. Make sure this is what y'all want to do. And I, and I want y'all to give me y'all opinion. What y'all think. So at the end of the day. It is what it is. And if you like what you hear. Please like, subscribe and share. And I'm also on um, family. I'm um, aiming to. Um set up something I'm gonna do a premiere probably in a live because I've been getting a lot a lot of comments about the um, uh, 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 content I did about um, Reverend James Cleveland and I think I need to do a live so I can and hopefully some of my church folks are out there that they can um, chime in and let me know uh, exactly what they're talking about and how they feel like I I've actually um, shitted on the Reverend James Cleveland, uh, who I actually love his music very much. Um, and I grew up on his music. So, um, have actually saw James and met James as a child. Have performed um, with the Love and Peace Singers with uh, um, Brother James Cleveland. So, I would like to, um, you know, touch that as well. Because, you know... It, 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 it's, it's long overdue. So I'm going to um, try to set that up um, before noon. Y'all stay tuned. If you got your notifications, please make sure you hit all so you can um, be there with the live stream. And um, I'm going to see y'all in the next video. And um, stay strong. And um, see you then.